Hey guys, we're going to revisit an old tip. So this is a page I did recently for Lifebook. If you want to learn more about this lesson, it's Lifebook for 2015, week 17. I'm not going to tell you exactly what I did because you really should go pay for like Lifebook and get the lesson from there. But I will tell you that contrary to the lesson, I did a lot of the shading around my face with some Sumi ink uh, mixed with water, thinned down with water. Um, and I get my Sumi ink at Daiso. Uh, Sumi ink I like to use. It's nice thin. It's kind of a grayish, yellowish brown color. I mean gray, grayish, yellowish, col black color. Um, and I really like the way it comes out on the page. It also is fairly permanent when it's dry. Um, and I like using it, but as I was doing this, I was thinking I would really like to try something like this again with something that had more golden tones. So, in the past, on a previous video on my channel somewhere, and I don't remember where, <laughs> you guys are going to have to look it up, I don't know, I had gotten this um, golden transparent shading gray. Now this is the original airbrush color. Um, they've taken this same paint and it's now um, repackaged and it's called High Flow. Um, it's the same paint, same color. I really like the shading gray color. I've used it on a lot of previous pages and I figured out how to take a little bit of the um, black um, um, golden fluid acrylic and a whole bunch of airbrush medium and basically make my own because um, as you all know golden products are expensive. I did get this one on clearance when they after they changed the packaging this was on clearance literally for 99 cents. That was a while ago though. Um, so then I thought why couldn't I do that with something that's more of a goldish brownish like sepia color. I did go to my fine art supply store today and 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 I got a high flow in sepia. So this is a really great color, the sepia color. And this little bottle though costs like six dollars. That's a lot of money for one ounce of product. I am wondering if I can um, take a brown color in fluid acrylic that's maybe similar to this that I already have and make something that's more reminiscent of the transparent shading gray. Or if I can thin this out and extend it with some airbrush medium to make it last longer. So we're going to do some experimenting here. I've got my airbrush medium. I've got a bottle. This um, is from my stash of like empty bottles and boxes and things. This is actually a candy making bottle, a Wilton candy making bottle, but um, it's a good bottle for this. It's got a nice dispenser top. I'm having trouble with my left hand today. I want to open things. There we go. It's got a nice um, dispenser top um, that I'll be able to, you know, use to pour a little bit out with. And the lid stays on there pretty tightly so it won't dry out. So we're going to do some experimenting and I'm going to first search for a brown in my stash of fluid acrylics that's similar to the sepia color and then we're going to, and I may go get another bottle. We're going to try a couple things so I'll be right back. Okay, just so that you have some comparisons, this is the transparent shading gray color from Golden straight out of the bottle, yeah? This is the one that I made. Shake it up a little bit. It's pretty close, you know. I, I'm okay with the way these two look, and actually, when they're dry, they are pretty similar. All right. Uh, probably it's a little closer, even if I mix it up. It's been sitting for a little bit. Yeah. Let's see. So. Now we're going to try that with a sepia. Now this is the one I just bought. Let's see if there's a seal inside here. Yes, there is. Let's 
So this is the sepia color from Golden in their high flow. That's a really great color. So I'm going to start with um, raw umber. And this is Golden Fluid Acrylic in Raw Umber. And I do have it in a high flow already, but I think I'm going to just use the um, fluid acrylic. I'm going to start out with just a couple drops of paint. I think that's what I did last time. I might need to put some BBs in here to help us keep things all mixed up. Probably should put some in the other bottle too because I bet I didn't do that. So BB shot will help you um, keep things mixed up inside when you're doing things like this. And you can get a vial of, there's like 350 BBs in here and this little vial costs like 99 cents or something at Walmart. So let's put a little more paint and put the lid back on, put my finger over it just in case. The color's not bad, but it's not, there's not enough paint in there. So let's add some more paint. And I think I can get this raw umber to be pretty close, but I don't think it's going to be the exact right color because I I don't think it's yellow enough, but I don't know, maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe I'll be surprised. That looks pretty good. Now, that looks pretty good, but I think now it doesn't have enough airbrush medium in it. It's a little thick. And this is how I did the other one, and I just went back and forth with paint and airbrush medium and mixing it until I got it right. Because you're using a medium instead of water, you don't have to worry about um, it evaporating or not holding um, um, holding the pigment. Um, oh, there we go. So I like that. That's pretty close. So I have another idea though for something even better. I need to go get another bottle though. I'll be right back. Okay, now this idea is even better because it doesn't require you to have a golden fluid acrylic. Now, you could try doing this type of thing with any paint. Mix it with a medium because then you don't have to worry about breaking down the binders in your paint. Um, if you mix it with water and you put too much water to paint ratio, then you break down the binders in the paint and it, you take the chance of it not really sticking to the project that you're working on. Um, so using a medium is always a better idea. If you don't have airbrush medium or you can't find it, you can use glazing medium. Um, that will work too. Anything that's liquidy and that's going to make it transparent um, versus opaque, because that's like the really nice thing about these is you have this transparent shading medium, this shading color that's that you can just layer on top of each other and on top of other paint colors without totally obliterating them and that's what I like about these. So I have this other bottle, this is an empty eye makeup remover bottle and I have this idea. So I thought to myself, what if somebody doesn't have self what if somebody doesn't have golden fluid acrylics to play with and do something like this with? Well, okay. You definitely could try it with the DecoArt fluid acrylics, and I bet you you could do the same thing with theirs, um, with the black, and then do one with their raw. I do, they do have a raw upper. Um, but what if they don't even have that? What if they can't find them? I have an idea. What about watercolor? 
I don't know if watercolor will mix with the airbrush medium at all. I have no idea. And I'm going to use this one because it's out and handy. This is Mayberry Blue. Se this is sepia watercolor. It could be any brand sepia wa watercolor for this. Use sepia or use the black. I'm going to do the, use the sepia. And I'm going to just squeeze right out of the tube a dollop, a little dollop of this paint. Keeping in mind that tube watercolors, um, especially an uh, artist quality one like this one, are very strongly pigmented and you probably don't need an, a lot. Start out with a little bit. You can always adjust your ratio as you're experimenting. Let me remember to stick some BBs in here. some airbrush medium. Try not to make a huge mess. I think we need more paint in there. All right. So let's put some more paint in there because that is totally not enough. You could get an inexpensive brand um, of tube acrylic paints, I mean tube watercolor paints like Royal Langnickel or see what it looks like. Did I remember to clean my brush off? I don't even know. Okay, we need to add more paint. And I guess I answered my first question because I wasn't sure if this would mix with the paint or not. Let me do this, I'll be right back. Okay, still adjusting my color a little bit. That's closer. I want to stop putting the Mayberry Blue, though. That one's expensive. I have this one that's an inexpensive watercolor um, by from Dick Blick. This is the Dick Blick brand, so it's an inexpensive brand. Again, this is sepia. So because it's watercolor, it's already pretty translucent, so you have to add more of it to the airbrush medium, medium to get the color pigmentation I think that you want. Then the next trick is going to be to dry it and see if it is waterproof. If it's still water reactive or not. So let's find out. I'm running out of paper here. Okay, so now the color pigmentation is definitely there, but it's a little bit too dark. So now let's add some more of the airbrush medium. And we'll have to do just like we did with the other one. Oops. Bubble. Okay. That's better. I like it. It's a little bit different color because it's a different medium than the acrylic. It's a little less yellow. If you wanted it to be more yellow, you could always add some yellow, to, a little drop of yellow to it. I actually like the color, so I'm going to leave it. So next, let's dry all of these and let's see if these watercolor ones are still water reactive after they're dry.
clean off my brush. You know, I'm wearing a white top. I really should have put an apron on before we did this. I hopefully I didn't get any paint on me. It's a brand new shirt. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Look at that, it's permanent. So because the airbrush medium is a permanent acrylic medium, when you mix the pigment with it, even if that pigment is in the form of watercolor, it's going to make it so that it is not able to be moved around anymore. That's interesting. Have DecoArt um, Media Fluid Acrylics. Use those. They're a good, affordable option for this. If you don't have those, use some inexpensive watercolors or some other fluid paints. Um, but use what you have. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.